In September 1939, the German Reich and Soviet Union invaded Poland, launching the Second World War. The invasion led to staggering loss of life. Throughout the war, nearly 6 million Polish citizens, 3 million of them Jews, perished. In occupied Poland, the Germans introduced capital punishment for every form of assistance to the Jewish population. In 1941, the Germans set about creating a ghetto in Miechu, ordering Jews from neighboring towns, including Wolica and Wierzbica, to move there. However, the Jewish Wandersman family and several others that lived there did not leave and decided to wait it out. The Wandersman found shelter with the Gondek family, their former neighbors. During the day, they hid in the hallway in the house of Jan and his wife Władysława in an underground pit dug there that was once used to store potatoes. While the evenings they came out into the room, the Gondeks feared denunciation to the Germans, so they tried to maintain complete secrecy from their neighbors and other family members. From at least the summer of 1942, members of the Kucharski family from the village of Wierzbica also helped Jews hiding in the area, mainly from the Wandersman family. They were relatives of the people who were hiding with the Gondek family. They too, despite the Germans' order to relocate the Jews to the ghetto in Miechu, which was being formed in 1941, decided not to move and sought refuge in Wierzbica or the surrounding area. During the summer of 1942, they most likely stayed in the nearby woods. From the time to time, Bronisław Kucharski would bring them food. Later, starting in late fall in 1942, for a period of at least six weeks, the Kucharski family gave shelter to the Wandersman family and their son-in-law, the husband of their daughter, Róża. In the light of available materials, it is difficult to determine the exact circumstances under which they were discovered. According to Tadeusz Severin, it was the result of denunciation. On the other hand, an account included in the publication Ten jest z ojczyzny mojej, Polacy z pomocą Żydów 39-45, compiled by Władysław Bartoszewski and Zofia Lewiówna, implies that one of the Jews hiding with the Kucharski family left the hideout in January 1943 to get some air and have a look around the village. However, he encountered a manhunt and was arrested. The Kucharski household was thrown into panic. They feared the possible consequences. On Friday, January 29, 1943, about a week after the incident, when things were slowly calming down, a tragedy occurred in the village of Wierzbica and Wolica. A punitive expedition arrived there, consisting of German police officers and so-called blue police officers from the Miechu post, under the command of the Volksdeutsch Kazimierz Nowak. They were accompanied by Paweł Wandersman, one of the Jews who was hiding with the Kucharski family in Wierzbica, and was detained by a German patrol. He was aware of the places of refuge of other family members. The police promised him that if he pointed out all the hideouts, they would spare his life and that of the others in hiding. Jan Gondek was away from home that day. The officers forced his wife Władysława to point out his location or bring him home. Then, for their help and sheltering the Wandersman, Jan Gondek, his wife and his mother-in-law, Balbina Bielawska, who was present at the farm, were executed. According to the testimony of Antoni Kurek, the brother of Balbina Bielawska, Władysława Gondek was pregnant at the time. Their corpses were first buried in the area adjacent to the Gondek house. The villages then moved them to the graveyard in Kozu. In Wierzbica, the punitive expedition first arrived at the home of Książek family. According to eyewitness testimony, the Książeks harbored two Jews from Żarnowitz in one of their outbuildings, most probably the barn. The Książek family consisted of a husband and wife, Franciszek and Julia and their sons, 21-year-old Jan and 18-year-old Zygmunt. The police carried out executions on the spot shooting the captured Jews and the Polish family. The corpses were left on the farm, while the punitive expedition went on to homes of Nowak and Kucharski. Nowak lived in Wierzbica with his almost five-year-old daughter. Both the father and the girl were also shot on January 29, 1943, a repression for aiding and sheltering Jews. 
According to reports, a Jewish man took refuge with them along with his mother, Elena, who was hiding in the attic of the Novak's house. But she was not found during a search of the building and outbuildings. After the expedition departed, she fled the village. It is known, not known whether she survived the war. Another place the punitive expedition went to was Kucharski family home. It was inhabited by husband and wife Isidor Kucharski and Anna Kucharska along with their five children, 12-year-old Bronisław, 15-year-old Mieczysław, 19-year-old Bolesław and 5-year-old twins Józef and Stefan. Their eldest son Stanisław was doing forced labor in the Reich since 1940. They also had Anna's mother, Juliana Ostrowska, living with them at the time. The police led them out into the courtyard. For aiding and harboring the Wandersman family, they were sentenced to death. The sentence was carried out on the spot. Not even children were spared. During the execution, Bronisław Kucharski was shot in the temple, which caused him to faint but was not fatal. Similarly, Izidor Kucharski was survived being shot. Police failed to notice that the two men were not dead. Izidor and Bronisław were hidden by neighbors and taken to a hospital in Miechu, where they received medical aid. Other family members and the Jews in hiding were killed, and their bodies were buried on the farm. In turn, Paweł Wandersman, who accompanied the police, was most likely shot dead in the nearby village of Jabiniec after the execution. Finally, the German punitive expedition also murdered Stanisław Tochowicz, a Pole encountered by chance along the way. The execution in Wolica and Wierzbica were one of the largest in the general government, carried out on people who sheltered Jews. After the war, the Kucharski's bodies were moved to the cemetery in Kozu. At the request of Piotr Książek, grandson of the murdered Piotr Książek, the IPN's branch office of the commemoration struggle and martyr Dormi Kraków conducted the exhumation of the remains of four members of the Książek family on May 24, 2022. In doing so, they came across a string of red beads belonging to one of the victims, probably Julia. Historians estimate that during the Second World War, Poles rescued tens of thousands of their fellow citizens of Jewish origin. The German occupiers killed about 1,000 Polish rescuers. Thank you.